when will we break the 1000 kilometer range mark for an electric car? As it is, the record right now for a Model S is 800 kilometers. That's the furthest that anyone has driven a Model S. Um, so we could be close? Yeah, we're pretty close. Uh, now, in order to do that, they did drive at a relatively slow speed. So, you know, we're talking, I think they drove maybe at 40 or 50 kilometers an hour or something like that. Um, but um, I, I think my guess is probably we could break a thousand kilometers within a year or two. Okay. I'd say 2017 for sure. It is now mid 2017. And as far as we know, a Tesla has yet to do a thousand kilometers. Last month, Elon tweeted, Over 1,000 kilometers should be possible in a 100D with the right tires. So they're getting close. To show me what you want to change on the car. Eric Lundgren, the guy who built the Phoenix, a car designed to do 400 miles on a single charge, has recruited me to see if we can hit the 1,000 kilometer mark. This is the first look that anybody gets of the actual car. Nobody's seen this yet. You want to explain it? So this is the controller, and this is made to run at a 130 volts max, except this battery is 134 fully charged. So we just change that to one that can handle more voltage, and then we can charge the battery all the way up. Just an extra eight volts into the battery, it's like another 40 kilowatt hours worth of mm -hmm. energy. And to put it into perspective, so you know the BMW i3 yeah. car, we figured out how to calibrate this to get an extra, two basically one and a half of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whole car, so we can't wait to run this. We're gonna run it again in, uh, I don't know, like we're gonna run this thing probably in a week. Of course, that was easier said than done because for the next week, we worked on the car around the clock, including in a national holiday like 4th of July. This trip had to start in a strategic place that would give us the best possible results. You're really right. Awesome. Guys. I really appreciate you. Bye. All right, and this is now where we start. That's the new brake since <laughs> the brake broke. I mean, this is some quality rattle can spray paint work here. A little bit dirty. <laughs> yeah, well, who cares what she looks like, man? She's going to give us 600 miles. Who cares what she looks like as long as she runs? All right, let's go check out the uh, film crew here. Whoa, that's a big camera for this little car. <laughs> All right, it's 11.25 a.m. and we're about to take off. We're gonna try it and break the world record today. I added another 10 kilowatt hours worth of battery. We just overcharged the battery. Are we ready? Let's do this, man, come on. I'm not Catholic, but let's do it again. <laughs> He is going to run with a slightly overcharged battery. It's not that bad. Each cell is about 4.25, 4.2 something. It was like 136 volts on 32 cells. You guys, you do the math. What is that? The plan is simple. Real world driving conditions starting in Bakersfield, California, all the way to Sacramento. We're, we're, we know we're gonna go to the state capitol because we really wanna take a giant flag, wave it around the state capitol, drive around the state capitol, honk some horns and some air horns and make some noise, trying to get the government to realize that EVs are a real thing. To keep my hands on myself Think I'll dust them off, put them back up on the shelf Do you yeah. want to put that on the outside of the car? Is that going to affect the range at all? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, but we're not going to do it for 100 miles, right? We're yeah. just going to do it yeah, for two and a half hours. No, yeah, for, we're going to do it uh, yes. we for arriving, miles. arriving. At. It makes oh. for a really cool yeah. video, but then it, it's going to hurt the range. Yeah. Kind of like, but you know what else hurts the range? We're going 70 now. Yeah, yeah we're going for it. Even with the babies in the mama call the grave digger. We've traveled 150 miles so far, and we've used 290. Six amp hours so far in 150 miles and it's at 127 volts so my calculations say that we've used we're using 250 watts per mile so far all right ready to go let's do it before the sun goes down get in let's go see you there <laughs>
to the capital, Jehu! <laughs> <laughs> that means we barely tapped into this pack. That means as long as tomorrow goes like today, we're going to beat a world record. Not by a little bit, but we're going to set a world record that nobody's going to beat for a very, very long time. I think we're definitely going to hit 500, and I'm thinking we might. Just might. This might hit 600 miles on a single charge. We gotta go yeah. from here to go see Tesla. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. All right, guys. In order to record, make sure that this is not connected to the night. We're putting a GoPro up here, not light. Just so that everyone can verify that we didn't plug this car overnight. All right, good morning guys. It's the next morning and the Phoenix after its 300 mile run last night. Uh, it's just sat in a parking lot throughout the night. That's uh, right here, whatever. 7 plus 180. Oh, that's cute. So five yeah. hours and 37 minutes of actual driving time. 51.42 miles per hour average. Jayu! How's it going? Excellent! I've been following you for years. Really? On YouTube. I'm one of your subscribers. Wow. Always wanted to meet up with you, but you're in Southern California and I'm in Sacramento. You're in Sacramento. So you know the difference. Well, you just, yeah. you just got your way. figure out what's the best route which is I don't think any different than what the, uh, we, were, we were coming up some of the mountains Tesla was not expecting us, so they were having none of it. So we decided to get back on the road and go see Apple. Are you making an Apple car? That's what I want to know. Because this guy that we're going to go talk to right now is working on a secret covert op project. One infinite loop. All right, so we are currently at 450 miles. We're not done. We're not done. We just took a brief stop here. That's, that's, not, that's not a lot you can do in this car anymore. No. We're gonna There's a try couple things. Like, functional. like people were like, oh, take off the mirrors. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. no, I want a car that's right. functional. Right. I want it, and, I, and they're like, oh, drive it on track. No, I want, a, I want a car yeah. that gets from point A to point B like people drive. Yeah. After 150 miles of driving on the second day, we decided to call it a night by leaving the car at Apple headquarters and setting up the cameras to record the night time lapse. The best route, because every single one's just all like mountains that we gotta go through. There's no good route. We have to plug you into the car when you get in. Our average right now puts it at 6.15, without counting my overcharge. So what does that mean? Make He's trying to hill? say we're okay, but I'm trying to tell him that we have not gone uphill for an entire day. He's ever. trying to be positive. He's trying to be negative. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. pretty much. That's true. That's accurate. Uh, cars no, that's ready. fine. GoPros are rolling. Let's go see Tesla. All right. Let's okay. Do it. Now we really just wanted to show Elon that he was right. 2017 would be the year a thousand kilometers would be reached by an electric car. But as you can imagine, getting a hold of a billionaire is rather a hard thing. We talked to someone at Tesla and they're a pretty cool guy, but we're pretty much being kicked out of here. So let's get out of here. Six 
hundred miles. Ah! A thousand kilometers. All right, so this is Paso Robles. This is where we're staging there. One thousand kilometers, because essentially that's where it actually did one thousand kilometers. So it's not the most picturesque of uh, towns, but this is where it happened. So. 6.50 this morning. I told him I'm like... What are we at now? 6.30, 6.40, A thousand kilometers is impressive and all, but the battery still had energy left in it. So, back on the road. Eighty-seven point one. Thirty-nine point four. But then when I put any thing on them, yeah, the batteries are done. What? Uh, what do you got for miles right now? Seven forty-seven. All right, guys. This is where. This is where the car died. Seven hundred and fifty miles. Seven forty-eight. Seven forty-nine. So there you go, three days on the road, 748 miles traveled at an average of 51 miles per hour, 165.8 kilowatt hours of energy use, all that gives us an efficiency of 221 watt hours per mile, that's about 150 miles per gallon equivalent. As far as the mileage goes, think of it like this. Imagine driving a Tesla Model S P100D until its batteries died, then jumping into a brand new Nissan Leaf until it died, then into a brand new Chevy Bolt until it stopped, and finally jumping into an e-Golf until it ran out of battery. You would have to walk a mile to go as far as this DIY homemade electric car using recycled parts went on a single charge. Now I don't care who you are. But that's pretty impressive. And if there was a Guinness world record for the most miles traveled in one charge at highway speeds, we would officially own it. There isn't. But there is an 813 mile world record set while hypermiling at 18 miles per hour on a track. And that we can definitely beat and officially own. Any volunteer drivers willing to help us out there? We want to make sure that Guinness Book World Records has all of the information that they need. So you can see the Phoenix. It's nighttime. We have so much footage for you. It's incredible. <laughs> On six cameras. And then you have the Trail Car 1, Trail Car 2, and we have five witnesses for you, including this one right here. See? <laughs> and this one right here. Say hi. Hey everybody. Say hi Guinness. Hey Guinness book. Say I'm a witness. I witnessed it all. There you go. Where's Jehu? I don't know. He uh, might be in the bushes. <laughs> he might be in the bushes? Don't ask why. Jehu! Is he flying a drone? Can you stop peeing? We need you to be a witness. Look at that. 